Welcome to Safe House, a cozy house on around two acres of land. It gets its name from the iconic safe in the main bedroom. 2,300 square feet, three beds, two bathrooms, and even a standalone garage. It's got everything you need. Simple country living, but with all of the modern conveniences. Some prime real estate, yet remote enough to store a couple million. The remains of fear of Bradley, or the Declaration of Independence, I'm not entirely sure. All I know is, this house can't be quiet for long. Welcome to a player's guide to Safe House. I'll be covering everything from the layout of the map, tips on how to play, and some oddities you might not know about. This fascination with Safe House started while I was trying to get the 5,000 matches of Arms Race and Demolition achievement. I found the fastest way to get the achievement was just loading bot matches of Demolition over and over on Safe House, and it just kinda grew on me. It's been a couple weeks now and I want something to show for it other than the cool gold burst next to the launch game button. Not to mention the math I did for that square foot joke earlier. See, I approximated the length of a knife cut texture by cutting next to a light switch. I then spent hours cutting every wall in the building and counting the number of cuts. Then using the number of cuts to find the area of rooms, and then put it all together for square footage. I see what you're doing. Wouldn't it be better to pull it pull the map up in Hammer Editor, then you can use Hammer yeah. Units. Yes. Anyway, I feel the map has a lot of features and details to it that deserve more attention than they get. There's just one thing that bugs me. I have no idea where this house is located. So let's narrow it down. First of all, this house is in America. We can tell because the SWAT is responding, the game's American police force. I know that SWAT aren't specifically American, but according to one of the nicest wikis I've had the pleasure of reading, they're considered American. But more definitively, the mailbox is being serviced by the US Postal Service. Now as for where in the US, there's a couple of clues, and red herrings. So I guess now would be a good time to mention the trees. These groups of trees found around the map resemble birch trees. The color of the bark looks about right to me, the leaves on the ground around do too thing about birch trees is that they're really only found in the northern parts of the country. The remaining bigger trees sort of resemble elm to me, which correlates to a similar area. The ferns really fall in line too. The fact that the birch trees have gone through abscission, but the elm haven't mean that the time period is around late summer to early autumnish. This correlates because birch trees tend to lose their leaves a little sooner into the season than elm do. The best I could find with a couple hours of lazy googling are these areas of northern Minnesota. This area works pretty well considering the SWAT's slight midwestern accent. You can hear it pretty well when they say yard or target. Market, anyone see the bad guys? Target spotted, side yard, in the side yard. There are some discrepancies though. The truck in the front yard has a 2003 Louisiana license plate. The accent call might be way off too, as the voice actor, David Scully, is actually British. He's also the voice actor for Sergeant Johnson. I never thought about being with a man, really. You know, some guys say they got fantasy. I don't even have a fantasy. And don't tell me your fantasy. We're not that close. <laughs> and the carrot from Pajama Sam? I almost forgot this, but you've earned it. You have taken the tide and turned it. Anyway, let's just assume we're in the northern half of the country. Let's try to orient ourselves. You hear that nice wind? If we take prevailing winds into account and look at the direction the smoke is coming out of the chimney, north is approximately in this direction. Or we can use the sun. In the northern hemisphere, the sun is always directly south at noon. Just one slight problem with that, there really isn't a sun, just kind of a general sun area. It looks like it's kind of here-ish, but the shadows are being cast from over here. It doesn't matter though, because judging by the clock on the mantle, it's around 12.43 and our trick won't work. Or if you believe the microwave to be showing the right time, it's around 5.29, and either this clock is stopped, or there was a power outage around five and a half hours before midnight. Or noon, I can't really read that AM-PM. 
which complicates things because the stove is showing a different time completely. I doubt the clock has stopped though because someone just recently left before the action started and would have noticed it. See the fireplace still has some smoke coming off, the dishes in the kitchen haven't been put away. Two of the beds are unmade, alluding to someone leaving in a hurry, but one bed is made, refuting that someone had plenty of time to get ready before they left. The thing that bugs me about that is that there isn't really any tire tracks anywhere. They obviously didn't use this truck, most likely because it's stuck in the ground, but the garage shows very little signs of recent use. All this info and we don't know who they were, what they were doing, where they went, when, why, or how. There's no way they could have known that the fuzz was about to bust through the windows, as there's no phone in the house. The only contact with the outside world is this TV, powered by this satellite dish on the roof. So did anybody even leave? Or was there ever anyone here? Unfortunately, being sensical is not one of Safe House's strong points, but we'll get to that in a bit. So let me give you the grand tour. CTs spawn in the front yard. Through the front yard, and then the front door, we are presented with a flight of stairs and a small kitchen to the right. But if we cruise straight down the hall, we reach a lovely dining room, complete with a wine rack. Then to the right, a nice tidy living room. Then circling back through the kitchen, we can head up the stairs from earlier. To the left up the stairs is the first bathroom, complete with a bath and a room. Then straight up the stairs is what I assume to be the master bedroom. It's the only room that has its own side bathroom, and even a walk-in closet. Out from this room to the left seems to be a nice guest room. Finally, the last door at the end of the hall is our third and final bedroom. Just so happens to be bomb site too. From here you can jump out to CT spawn, jump back to garage, post outside on the roof, you know, you get the drill. But out the back door downstairs in the living room, we're led to the backyard very spacious, it has a nice little path and even a slide implying there were some children here. But past these garden walls we get out to T-spawn. The only callouts I could find are the ones provided by the game, so I'll just refer to the parts of the house as such. We have CT start, front yard, porch, Garage, Is that foyer or foyer? Kitchen, living room, stairs, upstairs, bedroom, bedroom, bathroom, bathroom, bomb site, roof, deck, backyard, tea start, and then very specifically labeled back door. Here's a couple spots you can play, mostly defensive. First are a few obvious ones. The closet and bathrooms upstairs provide little pockets to hide in, either ducking from fire or sneaking up on unsuspecting victims. The top of garage gives you a plethora of options on what to do with the round. You have access to bomb site, backyard, can drop back downstairs, or can pick off late stragglers to site. The only trade-off is that it takes only one halfway decent sniper to pick apart the whole operation. There's also these spots on the roof just outside of site, especially this one. All you lake nerds out there know that this balcony walkway is such a power position despite being completely open at the back. Having almost immediate access to sight while still being able to keep up with action happening elsewhere on the map, be that direct gunfire or a flank. The odds of someone flanking you are low, as water makes you a sitting duck with no cover and there are better options to play. All that can be said for this spot on roof. All you lake nerds out there know that this balcony walkway is such a power position despite being completely open at the back. Having almost immediate access to sight while still being able to keep up with action happening elsewhere on the map, be that direct gunfire or a flank. The odds of someone flanking you are low, as water makes you a sitting duck with no cover and there are better options to play. Now here's some weird spots and off angles. In the upstairs bedroom, you can crouch jump onto this dresser, giving you an angle to the walkway to bomb site and the stairs leading upstairs. Same with this dresser in bomb site. This one, however, lets you see all the way toward the back bedroom and even out the window. 
crucial to cover, as the terrorist's only means of getting onto roof is right there. Through the front door and on the stairs, getting on the railing on this side leads to a very funky elevated position. It's not very effective against double peaks, but it's enough to get the first guy going through downstairs. Now if you ever get bored during some downtime, like any other CS map, Safe House has some little oddities here and there to keep you occupied. Let's start with the slide. To the right out of T-Spawn is this cute little slide. It's very janky. <laughs> Walking into it will raise you slowly, which makes me laugh. But once you get high enough on it, it'll actually start a surf. In fact, sometimes if you jump off the roof at it, you can hit a surf on the top of it. So the toilet's in the bathrooms. Now what the hell is this? Man, if you don't cut that shit out. Yeah, they just sort of place the knife texture onto the toilet water and it makes me laugh. This small tree by the back ladder has a floor collision on top of it that you can jump onto. If you're a capital G gamer, you can even bounce a nade off the top of it. It's not like, useful, but the flashbang makes an interesting plot flash to CT side. The side table immediately to the left in bomb site has a weird corner. If you walk into it normally it's fine, but if you walk off the table into it, you'll just be in midair. Every windowsill has a much bigger hitbox than you'd expect, making it easier to get through, but you can exploit this to make it look like you're floating in weird spots. My favorite one visually is right here by the front door. On the back porch, you can stand on some of the back pillars by jumping across them from these wood piles. It might be possible to string a chain of bunny hops across them, but I'm not, like, good at this game. Now if you have friends, you've opened the door to a whole new world of boosts and run boosts. But before we get to that, I want to take a moment to mention the sick and twisted world of Safe House's clip brushes. So, so. Here we are in the guest bedroom. If we turn on clip brushes, we'll see this slope. There's collision akin to this all over CS for the express purpose of helping players get around maps easier. But the placement is nonsensical. See, you'd think it's to help you get through the door easier, but all it does is get you stuck in this small gap. Maybe it helps you get off the table here? Nah, that just makes you stuck. So then, what's the purpose? Safehouse's collision hasn't been touched for almost 10 years, leading to all kinds of fucked up, messed up, goofed up, bricked up areas that you can be. And with the aid of a friend, you can get to these places.
Here's a real true oddity. In the kitchen, there's actually a misplaced door in this doorway. You can interact with it from this side, and double clicking it after it's open will swing it the other way. There's not like a real use for this, but if you open it toward the living room, you can actually get on top of it. So I guess that makes a kind of neat off angle. I think there was supposed to be a door here, but instead of removing it, they just slid it over and forgot about it. That or doors can be funky and hammer sometimes. I even went as far as to check the beta version of the map, and the door is still funky there too. Speaking of, let me talk about that version of the map. What you see here is Safe House Compatibility Version 1.34.5.5 on the Steam Official Workshop. Who the hell knows what those numbers mean? This version of the map did see a little bit of use upon release of the game, but it actually dates back to the beta version. The only big major difference is the bomb site. First thing you'll notice is that there's actually two windows on this side of the bomb site. Also, the wardrobe has been moved from here to here. And there's a unique desk model and painting here. The SWAT van was moved from here to here. And as far as I can tell, that weird door has always been here. It's in this compatibility version, but from the beta footage I've looked at, I can't really see the telltale doorknob in the corner. It's kind of funny once you notice, the picture they use on the Safe House Workshop page is actually the beta version. See the two windows? Once you notice, you can't really unsee it. Let me introduce you to the Safe House collection. No case or nothing, but you know most of those garbage skins you get at the end of the match instead of a case? Most of these skins are hot garbage, but I have some of them equipped just out of brand loyalty. Most of the top rarity ones actually look good. The M4A1S Nitro comes to mind. Just a simple two-tone that doesn't look like it was destroyed on NS Paint. The Acid Fade Scout is also one of my personal favorites. But unless you enjoy two-tone colors or camouflage, this skin collection might not really be for you. I don't really know how to transition to this, so here's like a little lightning round of facts. There are 33 physics objects, including but not limited to kitchen appliances, paintings, chairs, a TV, and a tub. There's 20 windows and 8 doors, including the fucked one. The truck in the front yard doesn't have a front license plate, but that's totally cool in Louisiana. The skybox for the level is stored over here. The road close signs and CT spawn are facing the wrong way. Or this could be understood as a meta joke that in fact the map itself is the only area open and the outside world is closed. The bin in the side yard is actually a recycling bin, but the location suggests that either the waste management comes from the back of the house or these dumbasses drag their waste bin all the way through their house to the front. These windows on top of the house are fake as hell, but that's actually true to life. Real life houses have aesthetic windows like this, they're called false dormer windows. They're very expensive and don't really serve a purpose. The house doesn't appear to be hooked up to any visible electricity, at least from these lines back here. There's no power outlets either, but stuff like the microwave appears to be on. These chairs in the dining room always appear to start knocked over no matter how the round goes. While standing on the railing of the stairs, jumping will make you bonk your head on the slope ceiling and will push you up the railing. If your middle name is Danger, you can even string a bunny hop chain all the way up. This is a fucking useless gutter. There's actually an issue with the skybox being too close to the bomb site. The bomb explosion texture actually hits the skybox and displays it in the sky. A similar issue was patched out of Mirage a couple years ago. And that about wraps it up. Thank you for your time. Is what I would like to say if I didn't spend so long on this that I found another piece of weird ass bullshit. So I'm gonna keep this short. Uh, if you play this on Demolition, it's the normal map that you've been seeing throughout. But if you play it on Arms Race, there's two ramps that spawn in on these walls here. They only spawn if you're playing the map on Arms Race and it appears that they're there to let you be more aggressive. 
I went as far as to check the beta version. They're not there on that map. But I can't seem to find any other, like, arsenal map that does this. Safe House is the only map of its category to share an arms race and demolition slot. Except for Lake. This is the only reason I can see why they would need to, like, convert the map for a different playstyle. But as much as I could bring myself to play Lake, I couldn't find anything like this. Why are we on this godforsaken place? But yeah, thank you for your time. Uh, this video's taken way too long, and I'm happy you sat all the way through it. Have a good one. Uh, hey, maybe Robert, you're boost. black. <laughs> so are you! Oh, fuck! Hey! <laughs> hey!